Hi everyone, Joshua here back with another tutorial. I'm gonna show you how you can do the perfect chroma keying on VSDC for free. But before we get started, make sure to like and sub for more future videos and turn on post notifications and maybe comment a tutorial that you would want me to do. Let's get started! Okay, first open this DC and import the files that you want to apply the effect for and possibly the background clip. This will be the green screen clip that I will use. Get a good look at it. And now what you want to do is select your green screen clip. Go to the video effects in the editor tab. Then transparency. And go to the background remover. Or you can do that by right clicking on your green screen clip. And do the same thing on the background remover. But you guys can't actually see it. So let's go with the first option. After that, just press OK and then VSDC actually has this built-in color to remove with. But to make this more accurate, I'm gonna make it black first. There you go, and then click the eyedropper to choose the green color. Okay, there you go. Now as you can see, there are still green chunks surrounding the object. I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. First, zoom in to get a good look on the left over green stuff. Then select your background remover effect and copy paste it by doing Ctrl C, then Ctrl V. Now as you can see, nothing happened, but if we select the eyedropper and zoom in again a little bit, And select the green around it now as you can see there is still a little bit green surrounding in the object just go to the right hand side and play with these three right here which as you can see has made the green disappear but if you overdo it the object will also start to disappear so you guys need to make sure not to overdo it now the chroma keying is actually done but as you can see the object has a different lighting from the background. I'm just gonna do a quick filter and color grade to it. That's it. That's how you can do the perfect chroma keying on this DC for free, which is pretty easy. The idea on here is just copy and paste the background remover effect so that you can choose multiple colors. Because if you use it on, um, if you do it on a singular effect, it will do the thing where it asks you to upgrade and this is a pro feature. So that's it for this short tutorial guys if this video helped you in any way make sure to like and sub for more videos and comment down below if there's any tutorials that you would like for me to do see you in the next video bye